Hey everybody, it's Rod, and tonight I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm not doing a photo video tonight. I found something that I inherited from my father, who uh, really wasn't interested in whiskey, but he was interested in cars. And he got this as a gift back in the late 70s, and I inherited it uh, many, many years ago when he passed away. And tonight, I'm going to crack this baby open. So let's take a look at this 1978 Jim Beam Corvette decanter. Okay, so the box has been opened before and it's, it's been stored. It's got dust on it, uh, but uh, in 1978, I was only uh, 14 years old, so I uh, wasn't drinking this kind of stuff just yet. Uh, got the uh, car inside here. Got this Beam's 78. Uh, talks about... Uh, the car talks about Jim Beam. Uh, I believe Beam is the oldest whiskey maker in the U.S. and one of the oldest in the world, dating back to the uh, 18th century and the 1700s. So anyhow, that's kind of cool. So we open up the box, we pull out the car slash whiskey decanter. So this thing's pretty cool. Uh, it is made entirely of porcelain except for this top bit here. Uh, which is plastic and I think the uh, the wheels of course just little rubber and s steel wheels but this is all porcelain all here it's kind of heavy uh, but it's kind of cool so what's really cool about it is the back of these Corvettes did have a lift back uh, window and so we can lift that back and reveal the sealed up uh, container there the seal has never been broken so this was uh, produced in 1978. It was uh, aged 100 months at Jim Beam and then put into this decanter. It's been sitting in this thing for 42 years. Uh, so it's kind of cool. So tonight we're going to crack this baby open and we're going to see what some old Beam tastes like. Uh, so let's get right to it. All right. Let's give it a little twist here. Might have to... Yeah, boy, that is, that glue is old. Holy mackerel. 42 years ago, this baby was sealed up in there. I might not be able to get this beast open. There we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Oh, yeah, smells like beam. So now... We need to pour this. How am I going to pour that? I mean, look at this thing. It's going to slobber all over the... I may have to figure this out. I'll be back in just a flash, and we'll take a sample of some 1978 Corvette Jim Beam. Okay, well, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, guys, but I think I'm going to have to take my tumbler here, pop it right in there, give it a little bit like that. Let's see if we can avoid spilling it. Oh, careful, careful. That is not exactly easy. And the front axle has come loose. Come on. It is old. Um, that front axle just clips in. So... It's kind of clever what they did here. They put this little, the back of the Corvette's uh, little, you know, trunk, if you will, does capture a little bit of spillage there. That was probably not the best way, I'm sure. Uh, these decanters really more for collecting. We're going to give it a shot. It's been sitting in there since 1978. Uh, this particular one was 100 months old, so it wasn't some spectacular well-aged whiskey. Uh, these Jim Beam decanters were noted for having pretty pedestrian uh, whiskeys, but uh, there it is. Um, some people are concerned uh, about there maybe being lead uh, in, uh, you know, because this one was 1978 in the United States. Lead was no longer used. Um, mm, kind of right on the, the borderline there. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind if you ever decide to drink the whiskey. 
uh, out of one of these decanters. But we're going to give it a little taste, and we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. All right, well, got it out of there. Let's give it a shot here. Hmm. It has a sweet smell to it. It is sweet. I mean, for a whiskey, that's actually pretty good. For being just a uh, 100 months, that's a little over eight years. It's not like my log of wool and scotch back there was 16 years. But that's pretty smooth. It's actually pretty good. Not the best whiskey I ever had by any stretch. It's just garden variety Jim Beam. Not bad. Not bad at all. They say that once it comes out of the barrels, it really doesn't age anymore. We think, ooh, 42 years of aging. It, supposedly, once it's out of that, that barrel uh, that they age it in and it goes into glass or whatever kind of decanter it's in, uh, that uh, it really doesn't age anymore. So uh, any extra smoothness over a normal beam 100-month whiskey uh, is, uh, is probably all up here psychological. But it's actually not bad. That's, uh, that's pretty cool.